Just moments ago, Governor Brad Little announced that some bonuses will be offered to those who are looking to get back to work. Our Joe Paris was at that press conference. Joe, what can you tell us about these bonuses? Well, Tammy, right now the entire situation is still being worked out, but using some federal relief funds, the state of Idaho is exploring how they'd be able to give out $100 million to Idahoans with the incentive of having them go back to work. Again, over the next week or so, Governor Little and his task force are going to actually hammer out what the eligibility would be for this. But the real big takeaways for Idahoans is they want people to get back to work, and they're going to offer this one-time payment, $1,500 cash for full-time workers, $750 for part-time work. Again, this is totally unrelated to unemployment benefits. The idea, though, is to get the economy going. Governor Little even saying himself that this is a bait, a bait to get the economy going, to get people back to work. Now, again, they understand that there is a lot of stuff going on right now with unemployment. I asked the governor during the news conference about the fact that there are people waiting eight, nine, ten weeks to get their unemployment checks, and they acknowledge the fact that the unemployment office it took them a few weeks to really get up and running, but he tells me that they do feel like they are at full force, and they also know that the CARES Act payments, those are going to be running out at the end of July. So that's really the rationale behind these extra payments. Again, the exact details will have to be hashed out over the next week. It is uh, important to note, though, they mentioned this is going to be a $100 million pool. If all the unemployed Idahoans right now applied for this and were actually given it, it would actually outweigh the amount of money in that pool. So this is going to be on a first-come, first-served basis. Tammy, when we get some more specifics about this program, we'll make sure to report them here on 7. If you have any other questions, though, about the governor's press conference, we'll have full coverage for you coming up on our afternoon newscasts. Great. Looking forward to that. Thank you, Joe.